Cooler Master MM711, coming in at a price tag of $25.99, currently on Amazon. If at any point during the video you wanna check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. But first, let's talk the sensor. This uses the Pixart 3389 sensor. This is a widely used sensor. It's very good for fast-paced gaming like FPS gaming. I've used the same sensor in a massive amount of mice and it's very proven at this point. This mouse also has a 1000 Hertz polling rate up to 16,000 DPI, 400 IPS and a max acceleration of 50 Gs. Now build quality here is very good even while being extremely light. I'll tell you the weight in a minute, but it feels incredibly solid and very tightly put together, which you can't say about all lightweight mice. Size-wise, this is not small and not large, but kind of there in the middle. And this is ambidextrous, except for the fact that it does not have the two side buttons on the right side. It only has it on the left side for your right hand users. Now for your skates or your feet, these are fully PTFE and the gliding is good, but because they have two skates on the rear instead of a bigger PTFE pad, uh, it doesn't skate as well as I want. There's a little bit of drag, but again, the price is really good here. So you're gonna have to decide if you're gonna be nitpicky or not. Now the scroll wheel is a little bit lighter here, but it's highly tactile and it doesn't have any mushy feel, which I really appreciate. Now for switches, this is using Omron switches and they feel nice and clicky. But now the weight, this is very impressive, especially for the price coming in at only 60 grams. That's very good, especially considering the current price but again, prices will change, so check the links below, but I think it's $25.99 currently. For the cable, this is a lightweight cable, uh, which is that looser wrapping, uh, and it's very good. There's no pulling, there's no tension or anything like that. It's great. Now, RGB is awesome here. This has a really cool diffuse look in the cutout section, and it's really cool to have that nicer RGB with a mouse that's still 60 grams. Overall, a great, very, very budget-friendly option for FPS gaming. If you only got 25, 26 bucks laying around, this one is hard to beat, especially if you want a lightweight gaming mouse with a great sensor. Again, if you want to check out these exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.